Remote jobs are gone. Now you have to stick to the office. Well, fake news, as our president like to say. There are still quite a few jobs out there, and you could even land one from Brazil, Turkey, or Ukraine. And since you guys have been asking quite a lot of questions about this topic, I'm going to share with you how our students were able to land a job in the United States lately and also from the rest of the world directly to the United States. But I will share it only with those kind of people who will hit that big fat thumb up button below, who will subscribe to our channel and also join our Instagram and a Telegram communities, links to which you can find right here. Now, let me quickly introduce myself and then we're gonna get started. My name is Sergey Kromchenko. I'm a software QA engineer, lead manager, and a senior engineering manager of ASDAT in the past. But these days, I'm helping people like you to become a QA engineer from scratch or to improve your existing skills as the founder of Comify. Now, let's kick it off. Let's start with the situation in the United States of America. So, for the last five job offers that our students did receive, two of them were in the office, one of them was hybrid, and the other two were remote, as you guys are loving those. And that shows that 40% of the jobs are still remote. If we would dig into 10, 20, and 30 last offers, we would see pretty much the same deal, same percentage. Approximately 35 to 40% of all of the jobs that our students are getting are still remote. And I do know that you guys are enjoying analytics, so let me get you a little bit more of that. Out of those five job offers that they, they did receive, two of them got Americans. One got the guy from Afghanistan, one was the girl from Ukraine, and one was the girl from Belarus. And the average salary out of last five positions is $53 an hour. That starts from lowest, which was $30 an hour, and highest, which was $140,000 per year, converted to hourly rate. While it sounds all amazing and you're probably like, hey, I want to get a job too, let me get you some bad news on the side of the, good, of the good news. Well, in the first three weeks of January as of now, we did, our students did get three job offers, but one of our graduates got laid off. So, while the market is not bad at all, because during the winter time, during the holidays, we've got three job offers in three weeks, there was still one layoff. So, while the news are great, there's still random layoffs here and there. And this, I just want you guys to know, I don't want you to be in the bubble of everything is amazing, jobs are everywhere, you can get one easily. You have to work your ass off really hard in order to get one. But as you can see, that's possible. And by the way, if you guys having doubts if you, sh if you should join a QA bootcamp or not, I did start a QA introduction week. It's a whole week of the internship in a role of QA where you will go through our bootcamp, do the job for a US-based startup, and try it if you actually like it or not. If you're interested, I'm going to leave a link right below this video. Let's continue. Now, before we switch to the rest of the world, I wanted to share one little dirty secret with you guys on how our students are able to land the job. Because let's look into reality. There are a lot of people in the market right now and you have to differentiate yourself. You have to be a little bit different from everyone else on the market. And how do you do that? Well, there are quite a few ways, but I'm going to share one hand for you as I want to keep the rest for our students. Let's imagine that you're a software developer, for example, and in order to show your skills, you can build a project, put it on a GitHub, and you can bring it to the interview and show them, hey, this is the project that I built. Or when you're sending your resume, you can also attach a link to your repository, right? And show how cool developer you are. Now, think of it in terms of a QA or QA automation engineer. What can you do? in order to show your skills and show how valuable employee are you. Think about it for a sec. Now, when you thought about it, leave a comment below and think about this. What can you do in order to show your skills to potential employer before the interview? Not during the interview, not when you apply for the job, before you even apply for a job. I will not tell you exactly what you can do, but I would love to hear your options, guys. Please put them in the comments below and I'll give you another hint in them. Now, let's get to those couple of cases how our students from Brazil, Turkey, and Ukraine got job offers working directly for the company in the United States, or maybe even indirectly. And by the way, if we're talking about indirectly, I mean through the third-party company. For example, if you're living in India, it's hard for you to get a job directly in the United States because companies from the US, they will not want to deal with the visa situation or with the tax situation in your country in India. It's all about legal stuff. They have to work 
work through entire workflow in order to build a pipeline for you to work and legally be part of the team. That's a lot of headache. So what they do, they simply pay company in India so you could work for that company and that company will provide your services to the company in the US. That's an indirect way. It's pretty much called an outsource of, of employees in India or the rest of the world to the US, but there are also direct ways to get a job and I'm going to share them with you right now. The first way, as you could already guess, is you can open up your own company and offer your services to the company in the US. Some of our students did that in the past and they were able to work for the US employer through their own company and their own country. That's kind of tricky for a majority of us as we have never done it and we don't know how do we contact those companies? How do we show our value? But same principles apply to you getting job directly with them. How can you prove that you are a very valuable employee and you're gonna be working really hard and you are better than majority of people or potential candidates in the United States? How do you prove that? Well, let's talk about it in details. Number one, quality of work, I might say, but you'll think, well, how do I show the quality of work to those people in the US? That's the second thing. You have to find a network connection in the companies in the US. You might have to go to conferences to find the companies in your country that, work, that are also in the US. You might have to send an email, which is kind of iffy, but it's still an option. You might have to contact people on the LinkedIn and offer your services in a professional way so they could consider you. That's another option that sounds a little better, but all it comes together into you gaining a friendship with some of the employees in a company in the United States, gaining their trust. And then whenever they are asked, hey, do you have any friends or we have an open position? Do you have anyone who you would like to refer to this position? They will potentially refer you. And that's how majority of our students who are working directly for the company in the United States from their own countries got their positions. They have gained a friendship with one of the leads or managers or directors in the United States in a US-based company. And that person did refer them directly to the company or created a contract or even built an entire pipeline for them and for people from those countries to work for the company in the United States. But I have a one trick that will work 100% for every single one of you guys. If you wanna work for the company in the US, regardless, it's called dating an HR or a recruiter. Well, I'm just kidding, but it could definitely have a lot of potential if you would date a girl or a guy from the US who work as a recruiter or an HR. Now, let me quickly sum it all up because we've been talking about a lot of things. First of all, about 35 to 40% of the jobs in the United States are still remote versus hybrid and in the office. Second, if you live abroad and you wanna work for the company from the US, the easiest way is to find a company or a middleman company in your country that is working for the US, but your salary will be an average salary for your country. Third, if you wanna work directly from your country to US-based company, you have to build a relationship with some of the employees in a company in the United States or a friendship. That's the best and the easiest way as we're all human. We wanna work with the people who are like-minded, who we are and join to work with. Fourth, show your freaking greatness. Show that you are an awesome engineer that the company you're applying for will struggle without. Now, I wanna hear about your experience working for a different country in the comments below. Thank you and I'll see you next time.